seeing him back at this level? Yeah, really, especially after the three weeks he missed, guys. He, uh, he had a really good game at Oklahoma on the final day of this series. He got himself going, and it was nice to see him carry over tonight. And you know, If we could get him going at the top of the lineup along with Pistachio and set the table for the middle of our lineup, we had a chance to keep making progress offensively. And another pretty solid performance from De Leon, getting a multi-base hit here, something that hasn't happened or didn't happen yesterday. Yeah, he was crucial, man. I mean, the two balls he hit today were huge, and uh, we're obviously within margin of the difference of the ball game. He's the only physical guy we really have in our whole lineup, so it's really important that he's that he's a run producer, and and it was nice to see him clutch up. I thought the ball he hit in the ninth inning last night, he hit right on the button, too, right at the guy. So. And obviously had the huge game Saturday at Oklahoma, so he started a round in after missing a couple weeks with that pulled hamstring. Talk a little bit about the defensive pickup here tonight. Is that just a different day? Well, you know, what the, the interesting thing about it was we were like in the top 25 in the country in defense about two weeks ago, and then we've we've been sloppy as well we've been, and, and, and it's... I don't know if it's, it's it's a result of now that we've been traveling so much and playing on the road so much that we haven't got as much practice time in as we normally do because we probably catch more ground balls than any team in the country does it during our practice segments. But uh, I told them today we're going to have a long defensive session tomorrow and make sure that we do everything we can to prepare to catch the ground balls because that's the strength of our defense. Is, our team's been our de infield defense. But certainly we broke down last night. We made three bad plays last night, and, uh, and, and one of those plays obviously led to two runs in that five-run inning. Six shutout for you guys this season. That's the most since 1993. Um, is there anything that's led to that? Just solid pitching. I, I think our starting pitching's been good, and I think the, the the fact that we have two quality guys at the back end of the bullpen and Kahana and uh, and Pache obviously give you a chance to close out the game when your starters have gotten you six shutout innings or so. And Mustaine's been good, so I think it's a combination of good starting pitching. It's a combination of having two quality arms at the back end rather than just one. How, how, what do you think of Drew's performance? I mean, he's not a guy who starts a whole lot, but yeah, you know, he was a, he was a two, Tuesday starter a year ago as a freshman or Wednesday starter, and it was good to see him get back out into that role. And you know, we're, we're trying to get him to take the next step to the next level. He's still not finishing enough hitters with two strikes, and you know, I don't think he had a strikeout until like the fifth inning, if I, if I remember correctly. But uh, he pitches to contact. He lets the defense play behind him, and we're trying to get him to get a little better bite on his breaking ball so he can strike people out when he's got them in two outs and two strike counts, and, it, and that's the one thing he gives you. He gives you a solid effort every time you give him the ball. The ball's going to get hit, and you got to play defense. Well, I talked about this yesterday. Um, you don't start a whole lot, but you got some opportunities, especially this being a busy week. How would you feel going out there and throwing five shutout innings? Uh, well, I mean, it would have been nice if I could have ended it as smoothly as I started, but just went out there and threw strikes, just like I'm supposed to. So I gave my team five shutout innings, put them in position to win. That's all I have to do. So. You talked a little bit about gaining some action on your breaking pitches. You feel like you worked a little more in the day, or definitely uh, in the pen. It was, I mean, it was biting hard, and then in the game, and I was locating it, and I mean, struck a couple guys out on it. So I was, I was pretty pleased with it today. Is there anything that you feel like you need to continue to work on? I know you mentioned consistency, kind of, but anything else maybe to work on together? Uh, gotta get my velocity up on my fastball. I uh, gotta get a kill pitch. Uh, gotta strike people out better with two strikes. Can't give up two strike hits, two strike contact. Got to be able to locate a lot better than I have been. Off kind of wild, out of the zone, kind of just worked the count a little bit. You know, fouled some pitches off, just battled, and then finally, you know, I think yeah, he threw me a curveball, three two, which is the one I walked on. But just try to you know make them work the first thing. I think you faced a different pitcher every time to the plate. How does that <laughs> how's that work out for you? Yeah, I mean it's definitely weird. You know, it's, it's obviously not easy. You know, facing a new guy every you know at bat, you go up there. Especially, you know, when you start the inning off as the first guy to face him. But, I mean, you know, you just try to just study him, you know, like in the dugout or, you know, when you're on deck and stuff. And then you just go up there and you just try to, like I said, just, you know, stick with your approach and just, you know, just stay. I've just been trying to stay aggressive, you know, on fastballs earlier in the count instead of, you know, letting them go by and, you know, getting behind or getting in a hole. But, yeah, I'm just... Just try to go up there and just you know study them while you're on deck, and then just go up there and just you know, trust in what you work on. Better day in the field today.